Hey everyone, this is Matthew here with buildyourownblog.net and in this video I want to talk about the editor in your WordPress blog. You find the editor underneath the appearance tab in your dashboard, so let's go over to the dashboard. Alright, then you come over here and you hover over appearance and then scroll down to editor at the very bottom. Click on it. Okay, so now you're inside the editor and you're going to find a box here with a bunch of code and text all throughout this box as you scroll down through it. Depending on what theme you're using, you'll see at the top the theme name and then style sheet, style.css. Like me, this may seem complicated to you because you're not a web developer professionally. And that's okay. Just keep in mind that the editor section is an advanced section for people that know code and want to create an advanced design for their website, more beyond the theme that you currently have. So if you don't know how to write code and you're not familiar with this sort of advanced uh, web development, I would just go ahead and not touch the editor and stay out of the editor. If you are familiar with this advanced setting, I'm sure you probably already know this, but I want to go ahead and just remind you that it's best to go ahead and make a copy of this before you make any changes. So that's good for even beginners to know if you are hiring someone to um, make some advanced updates for you on your website. Make sure that you back up or make a copy of uh, this code before you begin making changes on it. Because here's the thing, once you make a change in this code and then save it, you will not be able to revert back to the original theme unless you have that original code saved somewhere. So really, even if the editor is too advanced for you, this is still a great thing to have in your back pocket. You can know that if you ever want to make more advanced changes in your design, in your fonts, and in your colors, you can always uh, have someone uh, do this, you know, work on this section for you, the editor section is where they can make those advanced changes for you. Or if you like learning, you're super industrious, you can learn how to write some code yourself. And then you can make those changes yourself. But just remember, until you know what you're doing, I recommend that you don't mess with the editor. Beginners will want to just stick with the customized section to make changes on their design. And that should be just fine for you to make changes to your design. That wraps up this video. If you would like additional quick video tutorials on using WordPress, visit my site buildyourownblog.net forward slash videos. I'll see you later.